Okay, next question. At a recent meditation retreat, I came to the realization to a realization about myself. This intuition told me that I had left my emotional wounds unattended for so long that they have manifested physically as psoriasis, which is a skin condition. Have you come across this before? What would you recommend? Yes, I have come across that. That, that literally thousands of times because everybody has one of these things, not specifically psoriasis, but everybody has a manifestation, uh, physiological manifestation of their psychoemotional, uh, wounding. It's, it's something, you know, for me, it's been a back pain, you know, when I had the PTSD and I felt completely unsupported by my family, which is exactly what happened. And that caused the PTSD piece, uh, to come up, which was my experience in my childhood as well. My back, was so sore I wasn't able to deal with it was just a complete psycho-emotional uh, physiological meltdown uh, we incidentally also have psoriasis in our family and which has also been a psycho-emotional um, piece for that person um, what I recommend with these they're like they're like what's called psychosomatic um, symptoms um, and and People can say, oh, psychosomatic symptoms aren't real. They're just psychosomatic. They're symptomatic of uh, a, a psychological issue. But they are actually really real things. So if you, you know, for myself, for example, with the PTSD, my back was sore. I was physiologically not able to lift things or even walk down the stairs steps sometimes. Um, so they're, they are very real. So we can't just say, oh, they're just psychosomatic. Well, psychosom just psychosomatic or not, we still have to deal with it. We still have to make sure that we are, in fact, um, healing that pain that's there. So what I recommend is that you actually work this in your four people within framework. So if you don't know what four people within is, if you are in our Facebook group, Integrated Life, go into the um, the um, learning units and you will find out what four people within are. Alternatively, go on to mariasumilov.com on the front page. You can option in for a an ebook that will also sign you up if you read the, the confirmation carefully. It will also sign you up for our our newsletters to continue this this journey but you'll get the ebook and that will explain to you very clearly what the four people within work is and then what i would say to you is bring your 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 physiological issue so in your case is psoriasis bring that to the table bring it to the round table and look at that psoriasis piece from different parts of you from the adult self from the inner parent from the 10 year old inner child the three year old inner child and just look at that that the you know the the problem in this case, it's a symptom from the perspective of the different people. And is there something that one of those people wants to actually tell you? Is it like, I need to have this, this skin condition so that it ri reminds me of something? Or is it like, I feel constantly like I'm, I'm itchy? Because that can be a, a part of psoriasis. So what about the psoriasis or the symptoms of the psoriasis actually speaks to you? Can you see a correlation between a message that you need to get and the symptom, be it itching, the scaling, the, you know, how it looks? Um, you know, ask yourself, bring it to the table and ask those four different parts of you to say what they have to say about it. What could be the meaning of it for you? And what might be the lesson that you need to learn from it? So, for example, with my back problem, it was like I had to realize that I had to support myself and not rely on people who don't have my best interest at heart in supporting me. And when I did that, when I every time I made a decision that was more self-supportive, my back just got better and better and better and better. Dep just yes, yoga helped. Yes, exercise helped. Yes, you know, resting helped. Yes, sauna helped. Yes, all to all those things. But if I didn't make that self-supportive decision to do those things, um, those things wouldn't have helped because I would have forced myself into, if I'd done yoga and I've seen this when I was doing 
massage, uh, classical or orthopedic massage and pain management. I saw this so many times when people went to do yoga to relax, but they pushed themselves. They got so many injuries. It's incredible. So even if, you know, if you're doing things to inverted commas, support yourself, but you're not really doing them to support yourself. You're doing them because you think they're going to make you feel better. You're likely to get an injury. You're likely to uh, go backwards. So let the world kind of reflect to you what, um, you know, if the direction that you're taking is right. But every single time that I made the decision to support myself, my back problems just got less and less and less and less. You know, it might be I started taking um, vitamin supplements, specific supplements. Uh, I did a candida cleanse. I got off um, um, uh, caffeine and alcohol. You know, I got off sugar. All those things, because I was doing them from a self-supportive space, I wasn't sabotaging them. Everything helped my psychosomatic pain because it was coming from a place of I don't feel supportive. So when we can find for your psoriasis, when we can find what the message is, so it could be something like, I feel like I don't have my own space, that every, something's on my skin all the time, for example. Then once you start to create your own space for yourself, so that could be, you know, deciding that you're taking a walk every day. Now, at the moment with the COVID-19, you might not be able to do that, uh, but um but but if you do like whatever it is that that makes you take that space for self support then that starts breaking down the need to have that reminder and that's what happened with my mother um you know she um had psoriasis for years and years and years and and she um it came from not having her own space, not being her own person. And the way that she kept it at bay was she would go away on her own every year for a week in the middle of the winter into the sun. And she'd spend time with herself. And and it was really funny because, you know, she didn't feel appreciated as the person that she was. So she had to claim that and that made her feel better. Yes, there are studies that show that being in the sun is good for psoriasis. Absolutely. Physiologically, that's true, too. So I'm not saying it was just psychosomatic, just psychosomatic. I, what I am saying is that. You know, there are many ways that we can go about this. There are, we can close that circle on that issue from so many different directions. We don't have to just look at the physiological. So then one year, so, so back, way back when, um, I was, I was dealing, I was dealing. This sounds like I'm a drug dealer. I, I had a, uh, because I had a massage practice, uh, a part of my practice was I got involved in uh, multi-level marketing called Forever Living Products. And that was be, uh, aloe vera and beehive products. And it was really like, it really just worked for my clients so well. Beautiful product, beautiful company, um, really great joy to, to, to work with. And so I, um, I brought my mother some of the aloe vera drink for her to drink because she, uh, was, you know, having this psoriasis piece. So I thought, okay, this might help her stomach because sometimes it's stomach problems, you know, stress, ulcers, that kind of stuff that can also induce those situations. So I, I gave her that, 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 uh, space. And it seemed to me, and I'm, I'm not, claiming this to be true but what seemed to happen and this was really interesting for my mother was I treated her as an individual person not as my mother so I went and I offered her care and she started taking the aloe vera and something with her, within her made relaxed her into being her own person if that makes sense and ever since then and she's been drinking the aloe vera and she's saying it's the aloe vera drink but she hasn't had psoriasis so you know these are you don't know let's close the circle from all kinds of directions on the issue um, let's do the stretching but do it from a self-care perspective let's drink the aloe vera uh, uh, drink and and think that this person who it, i i'm always i've been their mother now i'm actually a real person to them you know let's use why not use all of the different approaches so Lisa was saying, you've just given me an aha moment. Uh, I have to support myself better for my back pain to uh, abate. Yeah. Um, and a lot of back problems are to do with support. So 
I hope that answers that question. I love this uh, because this is effectively like psychosomatic cellular memory piece. And um, if you know about cellular memory, it's basically memory stored in all different parts of our body, not just in our brains. Um, and uh, if you're interested in that kind of uh, cellular memory workshop, uh, I'm I'm open to running one. But um, but it's it's such a big subject, you know, the psychosomatic cellular piece is such a big subject that uh, to go into it on this, uh, it'll, it'll take us four to four to six hours to get it all out in a way that you still probably have a lot of questions. <laughs> okay, so was that helpful? Um, are you interested in maybe doing a, a cellular memory workshop? Um, let me know. Let me know what works for you. What is it that you need?